So uh, Brett and I and a few others travel over to Saudi Arabia, watch the AJ and Usyk boxing match. I knew how big of a fan Matt was. So everybody that says I don't do anything nicely, got him. Well, this is the first nice thing he's ever done to me. You know what these are really good for? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be the <laughs> last nice thing I do for you. This week's episode of Backwoods Backstage, I'm gonna kick Matt Trumaine in the head. Girl, I wanna show you where the freedom fills the midnight air. Hold out your hand, we'll take you there to a backwoods well, paradise. Well, welcome to Metal Lake, Saskatchewan. Proudly presents Backwoods Backstage with Brett Kissel. Brought to you by Deuce Vodka, Bushnell Optics, Federal Premium Ammunition, Alberta Hunter Education Instructors Association, Enol Lake Lodge, Old Smokes Coffee, MCS Net. Corlane Sporting Goods, and Nutrisource Pet Food. Hey, it's Brett Kessel with Backwoods Backstage, and we're very proud of our partnership with GoRV. Now, what we wanted to do is we wanted to show you some of our favorite camping recipes. Well, the reality is, I'm not a very good cook, but I can make the best Caesar you've probably ever seen or ever tasted. I'll show you how. He's going to beat me at Caesar making contest today. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but you go to a fancy bar and you pour yourself an old-fashioned, it comes smoked. So I rigged up a smoke here. I need an edge. Brett's pretty good at making Caesars. Okay, let's see what that does. This, this has got to be the most redneck thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Secrets in the rimmer. A little bit of pickle juice. Lemon juice. Take your glass, rub it in there. Throw it in there. Do you want enough ice? Cool it, but you don't want to water it down. A couple little dabs here and there. Oh yeah, get that stuff there. And it calls for an ounce of vodka, but oh, let's go with the deuce today. No need for a measuring cup, folks. Six or seven glugs will do. Another little shot of this. Always give it a shake, because all the good stuff's on the bottom. And then you add your fixing. Oh my. You know the rules? One sip, one gulp. Need some minute. Let it sit till uh, Brett goes, and we'll see him after. All right, well, until no. that time, I might be sitting and enjoying this. Guy packed his house. All right, so here we go. The, the rimmer is very important. Clamato rimmer is great. You put a little bit of steak spice in it and a little bit of seasoning salt just for that little bite, that's it. Now that your, that rimmer is gonna taste fantastic. Now you grab your glass, put it in the lemon juice, like this, and then you want a good, healthy coating. Grab ice, and I'm a guy who likes to have a full glass of ice. Now we can have the OG Deuce Vodka, but I'm here to promote our brand new economy brand called Backcountry. Then a little dab of lemon. We did some canning the other day with our kits. Look at that, August 2022. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of the pickle juice. And a lot of people like a lot of Worcester. Big mistake, it's too overpowering. And it makes the Caesar too muddy all you need is a little bit, that's it. Some people like a lot of spice, even though I do like a lot of spice, 
we have to win the contest. So we just put a couple gloops. I fried some great bacon from one of the local hogs here in the local butcher. And there is your great Canadian Caesar. If I don't win, it's because Walshy and Marty literally lost their taste buds. You went all out on the presentation. Absolutely, I did. Holy. Bacon on the nose. <laughs> mm. oh, one drink, one sip. Yeah, one drink, one sip. This is tough. This is actually quite close. I'm gonna be honest. I am really, really impressed. I was about to say that. If I could be honest, for I two can... people that just claim they're the best Caesar makers and they're walking the face of the earth. I can do better. I think I can do better too. Unanimous decision. By a vote. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Action Germain! Woo! You know what? Just it's for the, the style smoke. points, it was the smoke. A little, little bit of uniqueness of in that brought that extra war chester that he said not to do. I know what I'm gonna do next time is I'm gonna light some grass at the campfire on fire, <laughs> and I'm just gonna put my cup over top of it and say, "Oh, I smoked it with, you know, native grasses." I'd rather <laughs> have a, a that's, burnt, that's why my stomach. I would 100 percent rather have a burnt pail yeah. than have to have a sip out of something that Brett's toothpick was in. We docked the points for that. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah, agree. That cost yeah. them. Especially no. that, 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 that actually, I think that was the teeter totter. Might have been, yeah. 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 Somewhere on that horizon the sun has gone The fields are shining, my heart's been looking for a silver lining to come alive Another beautiful day in paradise! Petition songs? Have a you and me going fishing in the dark, lying on her backs and counting the stars. Or how about, well, I love her, but I love to fish. You like that one? So we are in, not in, hopefully we're not in. We're on Lake Bellevue and we're filming a family fishing day. So we got all my favorite little people, not all of them, but I got a lot of my favorite little people in the world. So hopefully we catch lots today. That's kind of why I picked the lake. But I haven't been here in a few years. So fishing's fishing, but we're out. And about. I'm excited. Kids are excited. They already got their fishing rods ready to go. And uh, we'll see what we can do today. So Uncle Derek's got this amazing boat. This beautiful Ranger boat is uh, it's Cadillac, right? So. He, uh, he's spotting fish already. Yeah, in about 18 feet of water. And this is amazing. 18 feet of water. We're gonna cast the line and uh, hopefully get some great walleye. This has always been a great lake for us um, to produce. Maybe not a lot of keepers, but if you're bringing out kids, right, you want them to be catching. Uh, so this is the perfect lake to do it and the perfect boat. It's just the perfect day for this. It could be a better summer day. This is side imaging, this looks left and right. And everywhere you see a black mark here is a shadow of a fish. And those are all fish below us. All those arcs. Should be a good day. Oh, off. we had him, but he fell off. I had one, I had we one. Saw him. It, was like, it was so big. He was really? there, he was there. Yeah, I know, it, it was like bending. It was holding my down. Okay, now one. you'll get another one. Now, now you know what now it feels like. Now drop it, let it go. Now you know what it feels Until like. Until the line goes now, what's called slack. No, he didn't, so now. Three turns, okay, here. One, one, two, two three. now leave it there. And always put your finger in the hook. Keep bringing it in. Good job, Mila. You got one, Mila. Oh! 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 That's right, yeah. uncle's got the net. Guys hook minnows many different ways. Personally, I like to go through the mouth and then right up the middle of the back. So that minnow kind of pushes up. So when a fish grabs it, it gets Perfect. the business, now leave it there, business end of the hook, so. Nice. Okay, son, let's go. Oh, I got it! You got oh one, all right. Yeah, you real, Ari. Hold it up. Dad, how far? You already need the net. <laughs> Here. Okay, Ari. Yeah, good job, Ari. Here we go, Uncle Derek. Here he is. Yep, 
Pull it up. Leo out the way. Back up, Leo. Back up, Leo. Get it. You got it, Mila. Good job, Mila. Are you kidding me? Okay, so put put your finger up in there. Okay, good. Now pinch and hold, hold hard. hard. Even if he Super kicks, hard. don't worry. Just okay, turn around. Turn around, Uncle. Hold wow, it. Mila. Watch out, that's where his spikes are, okay? Push, throw them out. There we go. Bye bye, fishy. Okay, bye bye, fishy. High five, Mila. Right on, my I girl. Need, I need some more bait. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Leo. Leo's got one. Leo! Okay. Get Brett. the net! You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Reel it in, Leo. Yeah! Yay! Yay! You got a fish! Good job, son! You got Are you a fish, me? Leo! Okay, put Are your you hand on the tail for me, grab please. the tail. Okay. Right on. Okay, smile Smile. the camera. Smile! Uncle Dirty! Bye-bye. <laughs> this is the most amazing <laughs> chaos because <laughs> Cece's catching a fish with Atlas in her arms. <laughs> then Leo's got a fish, then Mila's got a fish, then Mila lost the fish, then Arya snapped the line, then Uncle catches a fish. <laughs> this is just amazing. This is what it's all about right here. Look at Atlas. Wow, that's a fish. Can you believe it? He wants to pet it, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh! No, this way. This way. Keep reeling. Yeah, this way. Good job, son. Yay! Now he got three fishes. I know. Yeah. Look at him. It says, look at his sharp teeth on the inside. You see? Yeah. A lot of sharp teeth. Yeah, and his teeth is big. Cheesy fishies. There we go. Over the side. He's not big enough. I love the chaos. <laughs> Feels like a tournament. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, sweetie girl! I got one! Wow, Mila, are you kidding me? Good job. Keep your tip up. He's feisty. Keep your tip up. Good job. He, he's very, he's very feisty. I am not a good netter. Take it easy. But I'm learning. You got him again, Mila! Oh, all the same size. Here in Alberta, you gotta kiss the fish. <laughs> Leo, you wanna give him a kiss? There so I can lift it up. Leo, you wanna ready. give him a kiss? No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> uncle will. Alright, Uncle. He did, yeah. <laughs> Who's, who am I going for? I got did he go away? <laughs> Good job, Mom. Yay, Mom! Good job, Mom! Good job, <laughs> Atlas! Thanks, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a fighter. It's a fighter. Is it big enough? Is my fish big enough? Good job, Ari. Ready? 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 At Backwoods Backstage, we take hunting and fishing seriously. That's why we always use the best gear. So when I went into Sylvester's in Bonneville and I'm looking for a rod, I saw this one, Disney's Raya the Last Dragon. And I thought, you know what? If anything is gonna catch a fish, if anything is guaranteed to catch a fish, it's Raya the Last Dragon. Well, for the first time that the Kissel Kids, as a whole family, have ever come out, we're at uh, one of our favorite walleye lakes, pretty close to the farm, and they are having the time of their lives. And I believe that a day like today is exactly how you get young kids hooked on fishing and conservation outdoors. You can't beat it. Great day, great weather, great people. And you know what? And great fishing too, as a matter of fact, too. It's about to say how you feel getting out fished by them, but <laughs> you're okay. See, if I can catch a fish, then pretty much anybody can catch a fish. Except for Jordan Walsh, he hasn't caught anything yet. But he's running the camera today. You got one! Yes! Good job, Cousin Matthew! Good job, Matthew! The challenge with the lake we were at today, Lake Bellevue, 
is that we had to handle over 100 fish today to keep three that were legal. Um, we appreciate the stocking program, so on and so forth. But the challenge is I'm not sure what's, what the best case scenario is to, to keep three that you want to eat and go home. But I really believe there needs to be some massive changes for that lake in general. If any biologists are watching this or anyone from Fish and Wildlife are watching this, again, I appreciate you, but I'd really want that lake looked into. When I was there as a kid, grade 12, um, we used to go there and catch six, seven pounders all the time. And now I really believe that lake is this close to being decimated because of over overpopulation. My two cents for anyone that's watching, um, there needs to be some massive changes to the fishery in that lake as well as well a few others. So. One of the best days of fishing that I've ever had, thanks to Uncle Derek, an incredible guide, and he's so good with the kids. Um, obviously, I'm 32 years old, and I still feel like a kid. I haven't done the big filleting job. I can do the secondary part. Yeah, like, I don't know right. I don't know how to describe it, but the big part, so I wanna learn. So you got a sharp knife. I don't know why you're wearing gloves, but okay. Well, I just got my nails done. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so show me how it's done. Okay, so Brett, you start on this side. Yeah. Okay, you have the front fin, go underneath the side fin. Down. Cut down across. the middle. Yep. Okay, and then you just fold the backbone. Your knife's kind of pointing down a little bit. Keep following that. And there's one side. Up and over the fin, all the way down. But walleye have some extra meat on them. And then the cheek, you kind of start off at the back. Oh, the cheek. Right. And you flip the knife over, just grab that skin. There's one cheek. And there's two cheeks. You can see light through it. That is a good filleting job. Uncle Derek, how many fillets have you done in your life? Uh, I don't know. Thousands and thousands and thousands. Okay, and who taught you? My Uncle Mitch. No, okay, no, underneath the first fin. Tilt your knife down and cut back towards the head. Good, now slice down the belly. Yeah, all the way to the, okay, good. Now just follow your cut. And just keep pressure and you'll feel that backbone all the way down. Okay, now you can, now I grab it here. Once you kind of got that first few rib bones broken, good. Oh, we might have a pro in our hands. That is a perfect fillet, Brett. Oh, man. Uncle Derek is off the clock for fish filleting now. Yes, How that's beautiful. perfect. Okay. Let's start at the very back of the cheek plate. Nope, a little farther ahead. You gotta get right in the meat, right there. Okay. Cut down. There you go. Now turn your knife. Yep. Oh, wow. Just fall that. Kind of flip it over, grab it with your finger, it'll just peel right off. Hey. That is pretty damn good. I'm pretty happy. I'm actually really impressed. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm one. really grateful. Pretty good, Brett. Pretty impressed. Oh, oh yeah. So now, we take our fish that we caught. Oops, don't drop it on the table like I just did. Don't we drop it in the dirt. Put it in the flour like this. And then shake it? And then I close the bag and then we shake it up. So can you help me shake it up, please? Okay. Good All right. Give it a turn. shake. Good job. So that's why it's so crispy. That's, that's right. right. That's what gives it the crisp. And what we do is we take it out of the crispy. Just wait. No, don't sit on here because we don't want to. Just lay it gently on the pan. Oh, this smells so good. Is there any like seasoning in there? This I put lemon pepper, garlic pepper, onion pepper. Seasoning salt, and my favorite, I didn't say it already, lots and lots of lemon pepper. It is my favorite thing on fish. You'll start to see though at this stage, everyone starts hovering around. It's They could be playing horseshoes or bean bags or sitting around the fire, but I don't know if it's a smell or the way it sizzles, all of a sudden guys start coming closer and closer and closer, because you know what they're looking for. They're looking for a bite. They're looking for free samples. Um, we need to go. Awfully polite of me to catch yeah. all these fish for, for Derek and, 
and Brett that we're able to do this. Time out. So grateful. Let's start this again. Whoa, there whoa. is under no circumstances did Walshie even bring a fish into the boat. You can just watch the tape. It was all kids. Don't, I can't even let you do your shenanigans on this family episode. Not a chance. Not a chance. What's up, the snake? We'll show Dad the snake in a minute, okay? Hey, so this fish is the best fish I've ever had. My yeah, Uncle Derek's that's secret ingredient, secret ingredient, it's so good. The best fish I've ever had. I don't want to eat any other fish than his. It's not too hot, you can eat that. Just take a little bite, make sure it's not too hot, okay? There's days we had. What's the taste like? Good? Four or five gallons. Thumbs up? To me, there's, this Today Goes Down is one of my top fishing experiences. I've been fishing all over the world. I've Competed in tournaments, but when you get kids on a boat and smiles for miles and ear to ear, hmm. I didn't even have time to fish today. I was too busy running around rebaiting hooks and taking hooks off. And from table, from uh, lake to table is another thing I love. Actually, give me a piece of that. I uh, was talking to Grandpa Bear. He gave me a call. And says, "How was fishing?" I says, "To, to be honest, today wasn't fishing. Today was catching." <laughs> That's a great way to describe it. And I mean. What a luxury we have to be able to come back to an amazing RV setup, just out here in the middle of nowhere, having a great time near your guys' homeland where everybody grew up, with your friends, with your family. It's truly what it's all about right there. Yeah, you know, with all the busy, the busy lives that everybody leads back in the city and stuff like that, you can't beat coming out here, recharging, resetting, and, uh, and again, the setup, everything today, the fishing, it's a 10 out of 10 day, and I'm glad I was a part of it.